serve on the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Commission, so I'm intimately aware of the vast details of that horrible day that occurred five years ago. And it breaks my heart. A lot of, a lot of that whole environment breaks my heart. The Sheriff's Office in Broward County failed. The school system failed. The county failed. The teachers failed in, their, in, in the security systems and processes. There, I, I can't tell you just how many failures there are. There were. The children in this state, because of the Florida legislature and then Governor Scott, are much safer today than they ever were before. They're still process improvements that have to be made. There are still those that are in denial, and as a result of the denial, they're not living up to the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas laws that were put in place, to the word of the law, or sometimes the intent of the law. But the overwhelming majority of the school districts are better. The overwhelming majority of the police agencies or better. It has to be 100% of them. Now you get into the po political position of open carry or co constitutional carry or the concealed carry. At this point, the constitutional carry that's being considered by the legislature is concealed carry, not open carry. And it's important to remember this. On that day, at that moment in time, when Nicholas Cruz showed up with that firearm, had there been people on that campus right there at the moment in time with a firearm, well-trained and used it, there wouldn't have been a massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. So anyone that tells you that the schools are less safe because we've got armed guardians or armed officers or deputies on the campus, anyone who tells you that is not living in the realm of reality. They just aren't. Now, the bad guys with guns already have guns, or will steal guns, or will use guns. At that moment in time, that day in time, there was a clear law against bringing a gun onto a campus. But you think Nicholas cared about that? No, he didn't care because he was there to murder people. Law-abiding citizens follow the law. Criminals do not. There needs and there is robust systems and processes as an outcropping of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas laws and commissions work. The commission, and I know all of those commissioners, they are remarkable people, and their heart and soul is to keep children safe, not only in Florida but across the nation, and I join that. But make no mistake about it that we have to put layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of security in place. And we've done that. We are now plugging and have plugged mental health counselors and what we call orange teams or threat assessment systems in place. That's important. But when all of that fails, and the next Nicholas Cruz shows up with a firearm on a campus, violating all the rules, getting through all of the layers of protection, if there's not someone there with a firearm to shoot that person grave yard dead at that moment in time, more students and more teachers are going to be killed. So I become angry when people with their editorial comments say, oh, we need less guns, not more guns. Don't you understand that criminals don't follow the rules? That there are millions upon millions upon millions of guns here? They're here. And to think that we don't want good, honest people that know how to handle a gun, care to, ha to handle it, to have a gun to keep themselves and others safe, I have a problem with that. So at the end of the day, 
rules are in place. If you violate the law with your handgun, we'll make sure, or your rifle, we'll make sure that you're appropriately criminally charged. But the, the good people of this state who care enough to appropriately, professionally, and safely handle a firearm, learn how to shoot it, stay proficient with it, and that's the only ones that should carry a concealed firearm. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And if that person saves your child or your husband or wife or significant other from being shot by a criminal, you'll think different at least for that moment in time.